direct from Albany, New York, it's time for The Media Zone with your hosts, Ed and Dave. Tonight, a look at this week's new film and DVD releases. And the chance to win free movie tickets with the Poster Pairs game. And now your hosts, Ed and Dave! Hello, welcome to Media Zone, and Dave here, and Dave with you, along with Cammy. Oh, oh, look at that. Jim Lang would be Kisses, proud. Kisses, yes. <laughs> Kisses, everyone. Kisses. Uh, tonight we have, uh, are, do we have any good summer films yet? Not yet. Do we have them tonight? No, we don't. 22 Jump Street and How to Train Your Dragon 2. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to put on your microphones. <laughs> Those of you who are new. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's upside down. Uh, it is. It is. No, we want, not. Yeah, it is. You're right. Yeah. All right. There you go. Okay. <laughs> She's new. She's, I'm sorry, I'm new. She's the new even though, girl. Even though she has Hollywood background. She does have, as we saw last that week. That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> you got paid to be in a film. I get paid to stay out of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of films, Dave, be taking a look at some local films oh. on tonight's show. Some trailers from various local projects. Mm -hmm. uh, you took a look at a couple of them. Absolutely. The Cryptid and the uh, Creeping, Creeping Crawling. Crawling. And we'll be doing that later. Also, speaking of local things, let's do this right at the top sure. of the show so we don't forget it. Uh, we have a table at the Albany Comic Con, Dave, this Sunday to promote the web series, which may or may not make its June 19th <laughs> release date, but it'll be soon thereafter. It's how many years in the making? It's a year and a half in the making. And who's the stars of it? Uh, you and me. Which lets you know. <laughs> now the problem... I'm not an actor. The, the reason why we're, we might not make our opening date is because the opening scene has not been filmed yet. <laughs> and the opening scene is featuring Cammy. Right. So we're going to try and do that like within the week. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do that. And... Uh, I'm going to be here for the full six hours, Dave. I don't, mm -hmm. I'm not expecting you to be there. At all? For the whole six hours. Oh. But... Uh, we have to sneak in a back door so we don't pay to get in like the rest of the No, we get crew. official uh, name tags and to where, get in. Where is that? Like at the desk outside? Uh, I'm assuming they send them in the mail before the show. Okay. And then Cammy's going to be handing out our uh, cards to people to m promote them. We're going to have our zombie there at the show so you can get pictures taken with the zombie. How much are we charging? Well, we're going to put a little jar out front for donations. We're suggesting a <laughs> dollar to five dollar donation and then come in and take a picture with the zombie or Cammy or uh, both of them or the whole cast. Dave and I will even get in the photo with you. <laughs> you can get a little cast photo with the zombie. Should be a nice draw. We're going to have the zombie there. We're going to have a TV set up with the trailer running. Okay. So you it's got gonna, this all figured out, Ed. It's going to be a fun time at our table. Uh, yes. We're not selling anything. No. You, you just, if you want to make a donation, <laughs> that's, uh, you can do that there. Help us uh, fund the final uh, editing processes. <laughs> so that'll be coming up. I'm glad you told me. I, I didn't know I was going to this. Well, on that <laughs> I didn't know either until about a week ago okay. when, I, when I got the table. <laughs> I wasn't sure I was going to get one at this late date, but I gave it a shot. What the heck? Where are we going to be placed, Ed? Do you know? We are placed... I want to be placed out in the main room, mm -hmm. but I couldn't get a table there, so we're going in the other room, which I think is a oh, decent room. Oh, is that where the guy we went to see had all the Batman? That's where the Batman was. We're going in that room. All right. I believe that was well air conditioned. I hope so. <laughs> Unlike the main room, oh, so we might be better off. It was that. awful, and some people just the needed of... to use some deodorant. Right. Oh. It was especially, especially the the shall we say larger people mm -hmm. 
who were wearing costumes and there was not proper aeration. <laughs> <laughs> Things got trapped right. in there. Mm -hmm. And when they walked by you, that smell just... <sighs> Yeah. Uh, make a note, bring the light saw there yes. for our table. Yes. <laughs> we'll spray. Yeah. Right. Maybe a little uh, Yankee candle quick spritzer. Yeah. Yeah. Those are good. Nice and strong. One little psh, done. <laughs> a little a little cedar or sage or whatever you want. <laughs> or Macintosh would be good. Lilac. Apple. Lilac. Apple cinnamon. <laughs> mm. All right, Green let's get to our, let's get to our films. films here so we have time for the local films. There we go. 22 Jump Street. Dave? Me? I don't think so. No, but I'm looking for the rest of my thing here. <laughs> well, if you can't find the rest of your thing, <laughs> you've got problems. After making their way through high school twice, big changes are in store for officers Smith and Jenko when they go deep undercover at a local college. But when Jenko meets a kindred spirit on the football team and Smith infiltrates the bohemian lifestyle, now they don't have to just crack the case. They have to figure out if they can have a mature relationship, if these two overgrown adolescents can grow from freshmen into real men. College might just be the best thing that ever happened to them. Is, uh, is Jonah gaining a little of that uh, <laughs> little weight back? Yeah, he's not at he's his... He's always uh, going to kind of be a fatty. Yeah, you know? So he still looks good, though. But even... You know, he used to be quite Tatum. I call, I call him Tatum. Tatum. I just, anytime I, I just automatically call him Tatum, Tatum, Shatum, or Chatham, Bannon, Jaden. To me, it sounds funny, so me and my best friend just, I, we never say his real name. We just, Channon, Channing, Chatham, Tatum. Is, uh, is he uh, like a... He looks like he's getting fat, too. Is he uh, like one of your favorites to <gasps> look at? He is. He okay. is. He's very sexy. Just checking. I just hate his name. Chenum, 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 Chenum. Was he in that Chenum. local place beyond the pines? Or was it... <gasps> I get that no, mixed no, no, that was not him. I get that he was up. Magic Mike. But that guy was sexy. <gasps> oh, Magic Mike. Yes. Ooh, wait a minute, you don't say it at the same time, so it's just the two of them. Magic Mike. Ah. I think they're doing a sequel to that. Yes. Oh, please, no. Did yeah, you see that movie? Yeah. I didn't see oh, it. I did. You did? Yeah. I did see it. How did that That's happen? That's bad. Um, I'm not sure. I might have got it at the library. How does yeah. he get a sequel, though, is what I want to know. That's bad. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So bad. Hmm. Oh. All right, let's move on. Speaking of sequels, what? Dave. What? What? Yes, How to Train Your Dragon 2. This is your second dragon training. Training. This stars, uh, I'm assuming, the voices of Jay Baruchel, Gerard Butler, Kate Blanchett, America Ferrara, and Jonah Hill. Again, he's all over the place. The thrilling, Ed, it's thrilling, second chapter of the epic How to Train Your Dragon trilogy, oh, there's another one coming apparently, <laughs> returns to the fantastical world of the heroic Viking Hiccup and his faithful dragon, Toothless which I kind of am at this point. <laughs> the inseparable duo must protect the peace, save the future of men and dragons from the power-hungry Drago. <laughs> Close to, to uh, Rocky. Name? Rocky. Or Drago. Yeah, right. Right, right. Rated PG for adventure <laughs> action. That's a mild huge root of humor. Oh, Dandro. Drago. 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 There you go. I didn't uh, see the first one. And no. quite frankly, when I heard the title of the first one, I kind of thought it was in a different genre. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm just going to have to read that. That, no. was the last, that, was that was from the, the current show. Yeah. Awesome. You're done reading. So done. Um, so, Ed, uh, <laughs> why Yeah, I'm just waiting for the end of the trailer, pretty much. Yeah. How about you? <laughs> So you guys aren't going to see this? No. no. All right. Well, as I said, when I saw, heard the, I didn't even know what the first one was about, but when I heard the title, I, I thought it was from a different genre. Yeah. How to Train Your Dragon. Right. <laughs> Often referred to as a dragon on some of those Showtime shows. <laughs> where people you may have known so pop up on occasion. Well, not people we've known. No, nobody we know. All right, Ed, is this your think. typical minute and a half uh, trailer? This is a two and a half, but boy, <laughs> is it drag dragging on. It's dragging. It's dragging on. on. We are so witty. 
We are witty, that's why we've been doing this well, for many years, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> How to train your dragon. I, I thought that was the end of it. We come back to more. It is right, ne right, never right, going right, to end, Dave. Right. Oh, there's more. Look, it's Plinko. It's <laughs> <laughs> One in the Plinko and two in the Stinko. So. <laughs> I, saw a shirt that, I saw a shirt that said that this weekend. I had to say it. I'm sorry. <laughs> you didn't buy One it. One in the Plinko, two in the Stinko. No, I'm going to get it, though. Which I'm store gonna... I had this shirt on? Uh, a little Asian store <laughs> where this lady told me I couldn't fit a small shirt. So I don't, I don't really know what the Asian store was called. She's like, you can fit a small we have moo-moos in the back. Oh, and I God. was like, no, I'm small enough. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Asian. <laughs> so where was this? Schenectady? This was in, yeah, Schenectady. A little Schenectady <laughs> Asian store with a little Asian woman. Who's that told me I wasn't you... small enough to wear the shirts that I do wear. So uh -huh. I have my own show, so go. <laughs> what's up? What's up? Yeah, that's so she's saying. telling you what size to wear, right, and right. she's she said also my, selling. She said my boobs were too big. Stinko right. and Pinko. Yeah, uh, shirts. Oh, in one there. in the Plinko, two in the Stinko. Oh God! I thought that was great. Mm, I know uh, <laughs> Drew Carey isn't selling that shirt. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, Dave. It's time for those DVD releases we love so well. Yeah, we yes. Do. Let's see what's coming out here. Oh, this, this is a good movie is a or show. This, this is, is a TV series. HBO, I think, had this, And it's right? really good. Does it I've take place a in Louisiana? I think it does. I was just it's somewhere I'm in the south. At, because I'm looking at their, their belt there, and it's got like It the, looks like Louisiana. Louisiana. Ooh, it's like the state of Louisiana. Look at how smart you are. Very observant. Yeah, I was just looking at the men's crotches. Yes. <laughs> Apparently. I'm sorry. I... Well, that Matthew McConaughey. Don't they look alike, though? Yes. Like, I thought they were... Like brothers, pretty much. Look at this, Jack Ryan. Gripping, smart, intense. He's no Harrison Ford, Dave. <laughs> no, 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 no. I like my Harrison Ford to be Jack Ryan. Wasn't Alec Baldwin Jack Ryan? <laughs> Everybody and their brother was Jack Ryan, apparently. That was the Hunt for Red October. Yes. Which is a darn good film. That is one. Ooh, Liam Neeson. This film was just out. It was just out, and uh, I'd like to see. I, I think I even thought about going to the, the movies, but here it is. It? Okay. I must have forgotten, and here it is on DVD already. There you go. I always like Liam Neeson and his. He's so hot. <laughs> I liked I liked Action. Dark Man when he was Dark Man. Oi <laughs> vey! <laughs> Oy my vey, my gay. <laughs> what is this? Well, I guess he could wear that shirt that you were going <laughs> to. Right, 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 right. Now, apparently, Vincent Pastore went from that uh, local film mm -hmm. Off Limits, which right. I forgot to put in my film festival, <laughs> and uh, was not paid for that. <laughs> he was demanding his $1,000. Yeah. Apparently, he got it, though, from Oy vey, my son is gay. <sighs> That's just so wrong. Never know what you're going to run across on Amazon. Mm. When I go through the DVD releases. There you go. Uh, hey, we do DVDs. We do desks when I re remember where they are on the right. desk. <laughs> and we also are now we're doing birthdays. We'll do some birthdays. And uh, we're going to see who, which celebrities were born this week. And then we're going to try and guess how old they are. All right. We're going to have some fun with that, and then we're going to do some local films. Celebrity birthdays. Kate up to... Oh. oh that's, uh, what was that? Boing, 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 boing. <laughs> Your guess is better. Yo, you guys' guess is better 22. than mine. He's 22. You think? 22. Older. 22. Oh, wow. You're good. Wow. Oh, I, I just remember when I looked it up because it's Kate Upton. <laughs> Oh. That's his girl. <laughs> Elliot Spitzer. Mm. He's got to be 56, 57. Our horny governor. 58. Yes, our former. Well, he's still horny. <laughs> our <laughs> horny former governor. 55. Right. 55. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Oh, Gene Wilder's got to oh, be in his Gene 80s. Oh, Gene Wilder. I haven't you seen think? him in a while. 83-ish? 70s. 80s. 8. 81? 82. 78. 81! Oh. 